the U.S. is considered one of the more dynamic societies in the world. What is meant by this is, there is constantly new influx of immigrants into America. 10% of the population was not born here. So in the US, those new immigrants bring their cultural backgrounds to interact with American culture. America picks up many things in new cultures, such as diets, arts, music, patterns of behavior, and languages. While there is a welcoming of differences, such as food and music, there is also a stress between new cultural influences. to get wigs and perm their hair, which is fine if you want to do that. Um, but they were trying to get nose jobs and stuff like that to look more white instead of being who they were. And like for me personally, I wouldn't do it, but it's fine if somebody else do it as it's unfortunate because media do push those images forward. When people don't understand each other, they become suspicious of one another. People from new and different cultural groups are heavily discriminated against and negatively stereotyped because of their differences from the main culture. I feel that African Americans always have a stereotype of like, uh, like gang wise, that and Hispanics and so like we always put in our minds that they're not good people and like it comes up with an issue or like for instance it's been how long and we got our first black president and like a lot of people probably don't vote for it because of their first initial thoughts of how they may be so they're probably like oh I don't want them as my president but I don't know there's just a lot of views. Do you feel like skin color matters in society today? Skin color matters in society today, tomorrow, and forevermore because those people that um, actually judge you by your skin color or your skin tone or give you, got, got some pre um, preconceived notion about who you are because of your skin color, they will live on and on. They are all around. They will never be gone. So skin color will always play a part in um, who you are, how far, or what you are to them, but it doesn't dictate how far you would go because they, that's in your hands. Whether we are talking about African race, Caucasian, or Asian, in all cases, there are differences because of race, but there's more individual differences due to personal development than there is from cultural differences. Oh, definitely. I'm doing that by studying and um, knowing who I am and believing that my circumstances is in my control and most definitely opening up and letting people, you know what I'm saying, in to talk and breathe. And, you know, it, it, it's just it's one simple thing. In order to be multiculturalized, you first have to have the mindset of you're not all that. Then you got to have the mindset of I don't know this person. Let me get to know them. Everything is simple. We make it difficult on ourselves. Human beings are each unique and different.
different, and yet very much the same in many ways. Every cultural experience adds to the diversity of individuals.